Okay. Our study this afternoon is going to be on constructive psychology. I told you that this lesson or this afternoon lesson will be something a little bit deeper of knowing ourselves which is in line with the Christian philosophy. Uh, what is psychology? What is psychology? Because before we endeavor to study this topic of constructive psychology, the first thing we must know, what is psychology? Psychology is the science of mental life. The science of mental life. Mental. Mental life. When we, we talk of mental life, it is to study our, more or less, our minds, how we behave, how we are supposed uh, to construct our character through our understanding of our nature or our brains and mind. So here, we are going to, to learn of self-knowledge. How do we know ourselves? Self-knowledge. Because man, he doesn't even know himself, but he thinks he understands himself, but he doesn't know himself. We are going also to see something to, to do with self control, how to control yourself. We are also going to see self power, how to use or what power do we have. All this is in constructive psychology. We are also going to see self development. How do you develop yourself mentally? So, constructive psychology is theoretically, technical, and practically knowledge of self. <coughs> it is the knowledge of self. Because self, that is self, is what we are, is ourself. And that's why we say Christ died because of our self. So, it is very hard, it is very hard for, for, for someone to know what salvation is if he does not have what we call self-knowledge. Self-knowledge is to understand yourself first the way we are by nature. Who are we? Before even we endeavor for that higher life, that is salvation in Christ Jesus, we must first understand our nature. Because you cannot admire something to, to, to seek for something if you don't know where you are. And the problem with mankind is that many are seeking salvation. But, we, but they are seeking of something. They don't know why they are seeking for it. Because even where they are, they don't understand themselves. That's the problem that, uh, yani, that we are having with what we call the ignorant generation that is seeking salvation and yet he doesn't know what, he what it is seeking. 
Many are going to churches seeking for salvation. But that salvation is far from them because they don't know even where they are, they are and even where they are going. Ukiuliza wengi what is salvation is I'm telling you ni wachache sana watakuelezea. Wengi watakwambia we are going to heaven because this Jesus Christ died for us. But that heaven ukimuuliza yeye anafikiria ni pahali ataenda kute nyumba mzuri sana imejengwa baye aingie. Na hii nyumba ndio he is admiring. But when you come to Christianity to Christ when he came he told man my kingdom is not of this world. The same Christ said the kingdom of heaven is just within you. It is just with you. Sasa wakati watu wanaenda they are saying that we are going to heaven they are neglect even themselves. They don't even understand themselves. They don't even know where heaven is. So some of these things we need to understand them slowly by slowly that they might lead us to that true heaven where we are going. So what is man? What are his powers and resources? How can he possess and utilize them? Yeah, how can he utilize these powers that he has? So constructive psychology is the building of character by personal effort and a natural law along lines of least resistant i repeat constructive psychology is therefore the building of character by personal effort There was a time when we talked about the power in man. I told you a child like that young child has what we call power in itself. It has power in itself. And that child whatever it is going to be that character it is the one which is going to uh, uh, to grow its own character but its character will depend with what she sees around yale mnafanya hata ye character yake itakuwa namna hiyo hata kuwa na character nyingine through your guidance through, through the environment ambayo ina surround yeye hivyo hivyo ndivyo atakuwa but the power to do it iko wapi iko ndani yake iko na yeye it is not outside yani itself that power even if you are the mother of that child ile kitu tu unaweza fanya ni kumpatia chakula hiyo power ifanya nini itokeze itokeze Nataka nataka kama nataka character yake iwe mzuri nikumwambia utafanya hivyo. Kwa hivyo that child will be what yeye mwenyewe along with the environment ambayo ina surround yeye at a build that character na ndio itamfanya awe a human being. Hiyo ndio itamfanya awe a human being. So we need to understand that salvation where people have gone long or wrong and I've told you is because we think that when you become a Christian that is enough you ask is just to say salvation is by faith but you don't want to to build that character of a Christianity you don't you don't want to build the character of a Christianity so here we are going to deal with the facts with the self evidence propositions and appeal to common sense to the observation and common experience of mankind ndio tuweze kuelewa 
all these things, they may confirm, sorry, they may just be unconfirmed, but even what we see from, uh, 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 from other people doing, unless we do it ourselves, they cannot help us. Unless we know how to do things by ourselves. Even if we learn from people, there is something also we need to do. We need to practice. <coughs> to build our character. The first thing we must understand is that man, God, and nature intrinsically are one. Man, God, and nature, they are one. Intrinsically, they are one. And unless with these three harmonize, Unless these three harmonize, then we can never have the ideal of man that we need to be. That is man, God, and nature. And you remember when I was teaching you about the seven properties, when we reached at the fourth, fourth property, I told you in the fourth property, that's where nature and the spirit join together. Which means there is nature <coughs> and there is the spirit and that's God. And man is the one who joins God and nature. God and nature. That's where man is. Because if a man contain both. Binadamu akona the nature of God and this nature, feasible nature that we see. That's why when you come to external bodies, we are more or less like animals. Hakuna kitu ambayo tukonayo nasa kusema mnyama hana. How they generate, we generate the same. The only thing that we are different from animals it is because we have that intelligent soul and the animal do not have. Animal have what we call instinct, instinct soul. They move by instinct but not intelligent. They don't have reason. They are driven by instinct. So constructive psychology aims to put man in harmony with both God and nature. Sasawa. Constructive psychology aims to put man in harmony with both God and nature. Sasawa. In order to secure harmony in his own life and the greatest power and the highest evolution to the individual. Kwa hivyo, shida ya binadamu it is because he do not understand God and he do not understand nature. And yet, man has these two in himself. Man has these two in himself. Sasawa. So, man can become master of nature or of a nature by knowing, conforming to and utilizing nature's law and processes. When man was created by God, when man was created by God, first, God created nature. God created nature. <laughs> so, Man can become master of a nature knowing, conforming to, and utilizing nature's laws and process. I have said, when God created man, he wanted to make man to be the head or to be the lord of nature. That was the purpose of God. 
man would never have come under the power of nature. He only came under the power of nature when he fell. That's when nature started ruling man. That's why we serve nature in this fallen nature. That's why you find that sometimes you are moved by the power of your flesh to do the will of the flesh. Because your flesh is nature. But your soul represents the will of God. So by nature, by, yani, by, by, by nature, we were created by God to be above nature. That means we would never have been fed by nature, but we would have controlled nature. That's why when man was created, he never, he was created with the energetic body. He could not use anything which is produced by nature. In the Garden of Eden, there was those, that fruits of uh, heaven or paradise where man was not to go to toilet like animals. He had another body. Meaning, he was not fed, he was not to be fed by the stars. That which was grown in this world was not to feed man. Man was to be fed by the angelic food. Lakini wakati alianguka Lakini wakati alianguka something happened that the nature itself started ruling man and that's why you are fed by nature Sasa hivi nategemea uende ukule ugali Si ndio ugali umetoka wapi Kwasha Kwasha imekuzwa na nini na yani najua na kama ni ni season zote mvua na nini that's the work of the of the of the universe so we survive through that so now when we come to salvation we are told that man can become master of, of a nature because that was the purpose of god so salvation is god taking us back to be the master of nature again kwa hivyo salvation si tusifikirie ni kitu kingine Mungu anafanya is only that man that do not understand Christ has come and that's why Christ came he took our nature so that he can defeat that power of nature in us and release us from the the power of, of that nature so that we can be free so that we can be free and be above nature that's what christ came to do and that's why christ is god and man we were also in the beginning the same because we had the combination we have the combination of god and nature we were we have the element of nature and then because we had the kingdom yani we had the image of god christ just came that only now he came he took our body and he had power to defeat that nature which had overtaken us now in this nature from the time we are born in this world from the time we are born in this world because we are born in this world and find ourselves in this world from the moment you are born you must know that the purpose of god has started The purpose of God has started. Sasawa. Sasawa. So, the well-known fact of, of, of physiology. When we say physiology, remember here we are talking of psychology. When we talk about physiology, then we are talking about physiology is the mental study. But physiology is biological study of our nature. Is a biological study of our nature. So physiology is physical organism or yani organism that is who we are by nature. So physiology begin with the physical body as a living organism and as an empirical fact. That is physiology. Mwili because hapa 
When we say we talk about physiology, we are talking about the nature, the physical nature, our body, that is physiology. But when you come to psychology, it is the mental study. The mental study. That is the study of our mind. And here when we talk about psychology, we are talking about the spirit, those things that, that concerns uh, spiritual understanding of our nature. But the physiology, it is understanding our physical nature, the lower nature of ourselves. So these two things are very important in the life of man to understand them. But you'll find that in most of the schools, many are taught about physiology. Doctors deal solely with this physiology. That one, they study this body. But psychology begins with the individual intelligence. Because Babu, Sisi, we are human beings. And that physiology, Dinataka Sasa, to Elewe, manifesting in and through the body. Sasawa, Nani Akonashida, with these two terms, when we are going to use them interchangeably, meaning we can talk about psychology and we cannot talk about physiology. Sometimes we use the physiology to represent the lower nature and psychology to represent the higher nature of our understanding. So, the functions and phenomena of life are to the physical body what the functions and phenomena of consciousness are to the individual intelligence. So, here, ukiangalia our nature, kama vile tuko hapa duniani, with our life, when a child is born, the consciousness ya kwanza the first consciousness ambaye tunapata it is the consciousness of our body. Na ndio naona mtoto akizaliwa yeye ile kitu anataka ako na haja naye ni nini? Ni chakula. Si ndio? Hata hiyo intelligence hana kwa sababu consciousness yeye ile ako naye anaanza anaanza kukua anaanza kujijua yeye ni mtu anaanza kujua anaitwa so anasawa kwa sababu amesikia ukimuita mara nyingi mpaka ukimuita siku nyingine na ana respond hiyo ndio tunaita the consciousness of the physical body but when you come to psychology ambaye sasa ni mental understanding of our soul by intelligence sasa naye after tumefika a certain age our mental life start growing sasa hapo ndio nakuta mtu anaenda shule anaanza kufanya mathematics anaanza kuelewa this and this yoyote anaanza kuijua after all this having the consciousness of ourselves and this world and even the intelligence of this world there is another higher life that we need to understand and this higher life it is what we call sasa hapa that is the salvation salvation meaning now here is going back to the higher life where we came from going higher in our life where we came from sasawa because as we shall come and study more and more you will find that our time if you draw the eternity eternity is a circle eternity is yani it's a symbol of the circle Meaning, that's why if you start to counting, you start from zero, from eternity, you start time. So, here we have the time. That is the birth, and that is the death. So, even when you are born, you must know one thing. That before you are born, where were you? Before you were born, where were you? Huh? In eternity. Sasa, <laughs> you are in eternity. What about if you die? Where are you? 
Yeah? You are in eternity still. It's only that we don't understand all what God is doing. The only time, this temporal time is the only time that it has a beginning and an end. All the time, we are in eternity. Before you are born, you don't know yourself. You just come. You just come in this world. So you have, you have a beginning. Then when you die, your soul goes back to where it came, it came from. Nikweli. So, so here, before our birth, we were in eternity. When we are born in this world, this is the time God has given us this time to understand ourselves and to know ourselves. That's why we are given a physical body to help us understand who, whom we are. Because in eternity, where we had no body, we had no consciousness of ourselves. So that's why the first thing we are going to be given the consciousness of our body. Then after we get the consciousness of our body, then we are also going to have the consciousness of our, of our mental life or higher life. And that's where we, are, we shall have a chance of, of going back to eternity where we came from. And that's why after we finish this life, after we finish this life, <laughs> so God here we need to understand ourselves. From this point up to this point, we are given a chance, an opportunity to know ourselves, to understand our body, to understand ourselves in this world. Then we are given another chance to understand ourselves and even to know our God where we came from. That is why death is going back to eternity. Birth, our birth is coming from eternity and to this world in order to understand ourselves. Because here in eternity before you are born, it's as if we, we never knew we, we were in that in eternity. But here we come that we may learn ourselves. That's why character building it is very, very important. First, uh, we are given awareness of ourselves, that we know ourselves, that we may have intelligent and discernment and the sequence and consent and trend of our life or what we are supposed to be in this life. First, we are given the power of discrimination and discernment. We are given the power of uh, uh, discriminations and discernment. And through this, by through this, we create what we call reasons. We create what we call reasons. Our reasoning will come as in accordance with our environment. Reasons. We start, we start building reasons. Ukiagalia mtoto mdogo. We shall go back to mtoto mdogo. Utakuja kuona, ye ya nesafanya vitu nyingi sana. Contrary to what sisi tunafanya. But nani ya tamfanya aedue hii, aaze kupambanua, aaze kurizon out. Diajue hii ni baya na hii ni zuri. Kwa hivyo, reasoning also itaaza kubuild kuningana vile anaona. So, reason is thus awareness of facts, incidents, experiences, and results. 
in their order relation in time and sequence of values as cause and effect. Kwa hivyo nikumaanisha you are you are experiencing this world what you are experiencing in whatever you are doing in this life hiyo ndio it will build your reason. Your reason is going to grow in accordance with your experience. That's why tunaambiwa mtoto wa kiridia wembe mfanye nini? Kwa sababu gani? Ndio asome ajikate afanye nini? Ajue ni mbaya. Kwa hivyo from that moment reason yake ifanya nini? Imekua. Reason yake imekua. Such reason give rise to judgment or knowledge. Kwa hivyo reasoning ambaye tuna yule mtoto ukiangalia reasoning yake na yule mwingine ameenda to a certain level unakuja unakuta hasifanani. Sasa sawa? Sasa yeye ata build through experience the reasoning. Sasa sawa? That which experiences perceives remembers kwa hivyo our experience ile tunapitia ndio itafanya to perceive ndio itafanya to, rem, yeah, to remember something ili ulipitia it is it, yani compares it will compare it will give you wisdom to compare things to combine things to learn and knows and this is what we call individual intelligence hiyo ndiyo tunaita individual intelligence. Individual intelligence will only grow with experience. Usidanganywe na mtu. That's why unaweza atambia mtu kitu, ukute unaweza fundisha mtu kitu, but if he has not yet tested, if his experience has not brought him to reason, to compare, to combine, to remember wewe unafanya bure. Unafanya bure. Banake mpaka his individual intelligence ikue na imuoneshe as iwe sasa ndio ina guide yeye. That's why wewe ile kitu unataka tukunie kwa this is the way. Lakini experience yake ndio ita ita push forward ndio apate aweze kuelewa. So we may compare consciousness to a circle or a sphere that it continually enlarges or expands through experience so consciousness when we say consciousness it is know ourselves na hii consciousness ina it is start immediately wakati mtoto amefanya nini amezaliwa maana hata yeye utakuja kuona ana hasa kujua muhini mkono anaanza kujua kona macho anaona all these things are kosha hata ndio inamfanya alie maana yake ana feel there is something ambaye haiendi vizuri na yeye that is consciousness kwa hivyo consciousness hitaisha it will go until eternity because consciousness it is just a beginning mpaka wakati tuta attain that higher life of knowing ourselves knowing god having the consciousness of god and being like god that's why christ came kwa hivyo we are evolving we are growing from one consciousness to the other kwa hivyo naye experience is part of consciousness yani ni kwa yani you unaenda ukijijua unaenda ukijijua na ndio unaona nene many people or many uh, their consciousness reaches a point where it becomes stand still nikusema instead of aiming higher we aiming to the higher end they stall they stall and they start diving downward so they remain stagnant now they remain stagnant what they do unakuja utakuja kuona 
wana they become materialistic and then their happiness it is this life so in this life they build their personal empires these personal empires becomes their heaven and those people they are done because they'll not go higher than that they have reached there and that's why you, you, you see many rich people they are very selfish they want to have everything they think now they have reached and you know how watu ambao wanapata mali they don't want to lose them manake they don't know end of happiness they they have lost the sense of true happiness sasa wamekuwa materialistic in this world sasa nakuta that is their own happiness but hata wakipata hiyo mali they are more selfish than selfish it is a fruit of death of darkness ndio nakuta kuona tajiri mkubwa sana unaona ako na mali lakini nakuta mtu amejeka yani ka kioski pale ako na manyumba mingi sana lakini anataka kuchukua hiyo hiyo kashamba hiyo mtu ajege nyumba nyingine pale yeye na hana haya that's what they do mtu kama huyo he has lost the direction of the true happiness amelus the consciousness yake amekuwa tu yani his happiness yeye anataka tu kukaa tu hapa duniani afurahie mambo hapa duniani lakini about the other consciousness he is not but those who are lucky those who are lucky ni wale ambaye they lose the sense of this happiness this happiness when i lose the sense of it they are after the true happiness they are after god so the individual intelligence is a point at the center of the circle or sphere that's what we have said that experience which surround you or which you are go in this world these experiences are the one which are going to give what we call individual intelligence individual intelligence or what you are going to go through individual inter intelligence and here the center here is going to be formed by what you have gone through this one point which the individual intelligence is maintain its conscious identity awareness of self in the midst of all experience or changes in its state changes and conditions of consciousness so as we have said this intelligence or this individual intelligence will be your identity depending on what you have gone through in this world many may yani it doesn't mean that all those past difficult experience in this world they end up being after the higher life as i have told you there are those who are going to undergo experiences but they will have the intelligence but their intelligence will be just for self hiyo nae huyo mtu nae bado intelligence yake haitamsaidia but those ambaye watakuwa watakuwa watu wa maana ni wale through experience they will understand their, themselves they know where they came from and they know where they are going because many don't know many are stuck in this world many are stuck in this world and that's why people don't understand that even science is a creation of the devil if you tell some people who doesn't know deeper knowledge watasema hapana there were some people i was writing to walisema iwezi kuwa hivyo we argued a lot but walikuja wakaona it is a fact that science is a creation of the devil but ndio due to our narrow understanding we might say science has done so many things for us it is true it has done that but science is not of faith science is not of faith 
And that is that which is not of faith is what? It's a sin. That which is not of faith. Science does not come from faith. Many can create, man has created many things, even those who doesn't even know God. So if you know what it means to have faith, but I don't want to go in that direction. Uh, thus, it may be seen that consciousness is a primary endowment of individual intelligence. Consciousness changes while the individual intelligence does not. How? Consciousness changes while the individual intelligence does not. Just as the body grow and develop under its life endowment, so the individual intelligence grows and develops in its endowment of consciousness. The body grows mwili na kuwa. Our body grows, lakini our consciousness, no, our body nafika pahali na kuwa study still, tume growth nafika pahali frani, but our consciousness inaenderea kuchange. Kwa hivyo, consciousness is not a stand still. Sasawa, consciousness is to man what space is to nature. On account of it, continued awareness of self, it is called the ego. There is a word here, we call it the ego. Ego or ego. But I think the word ego is the, is the best thing to use. So, on account of it, continued awareness of self, vile mutu naenda akijua, akijielewa, in this one of sin, he developed what we call the ego. Pride. Yeah, and Afikiria pride. Sasa, because he has gotten the knowledge of this world, he has, he has, you know, he has become better in comparison with other people of this world. So, on that account itself, he developed what we call ego. That means he has known himself to be somebody and he feels a certain place in this world and he wants to know people to know who he is. Now what why wanamuelewa? And by he is as in a fanya mutu and a car. Anaona kana kwamba yeye ni mtu wa maana sana. Because maybe amesoma, ameelewa kuliko watu wengine. Lakini shida ambaye inakujia hapa is because we have said science is a creation of who? The devil, the Satan. Hapo ndio binadamu wanga ajui. And that's why the more you learn this worldly knowledge, the more proud you are. Sini kweli? Ndiyo nona watu nakuwa proud, wakisoma. Why? But when you go to a child of God, the more he knows God, the more he has the knowledge of God, the more he and humility he become. Why does it go like that? Why is science the study of nature? You know, man, in this world, the highest he can go is just to study nature. But he think by studying nature, he has known God. You have only known the nature God, but you have not known the personal God. That's a problem. And because he has known this nature God, he feels himself to be above each and every person. That's why I have told you, this man will end up being materialistic of this world. And that's where, where he's going to be stuck. He won't seek for higher life. Na atasimama mapare. Atasimama mapare. Kwa sababu of that ego. That ego ambaye amefanya nini. So, do you, because many scientists, 
Even scholars, the learned people in this world do not understand the truth about salvation. Most of them are stuck. The more they learn science in this world, the more they are stuck. Ukiwaambia hivyo wengine watakata. Watasema hapana, haiwezi kuwa hivyo. How can you say that? And the science ndio inategenesha inategenesha fridge. Sisi tunapata chakula yetu wewe fanya nini? Haiwezi haribika. Unasaje kusema hivyo? But only people forget that God said of all the true in the garden garden of yani of God of Eden you can eat of all other of, of all other tree but the tree of knowing good and evil usifanye nini that means if you are going to use your your own reason that you have learned in this world to study the science the nature in this world that is the tree of knowing good and evil you are going to see many things you are going to understand many things of nature even evil things we are going to know them some will be useful to you and some will be riddle to you have we not seen it yeah ni vitu ngapi zinategenezwa bado zinatuua si tunatengeneza gari alafu inakuja inafanya nini yeah inatumaliza so if our reasoning ilikuwa by faith hii yote tunatengeneza hakuna kitu ingeua mtu it is because science is a creation of who of satan it is a creation of knowing evil and good that's why it is that way but knowing god we don't know god by our own reason reasoning is just a hard made of faith nilona usifikirie kuna mtu anaweza kumjua mungu as because that he can reason out to god no one no one and that's why wakati watu wameingia kwa kanisa wanasema wanamtafuta wana Mungu wanafikiria that God is somewhere Mungu wako pahali fulani wanataka sasa ku, yani kumwabudu Mungu ambaye anakaa pahali fulani biguni ukiuliza biguni ni wapi maana yake wanaangalia juu wanasema hako huko juu That's why people have worshiped idols because wanafanisha huu Mungu wako namna gani it is because they use their own reasoning to know god and you cannot go know god that way the only thing you can do you can do is to you have to build ego or ego or self understanding sasawa so life and consciousness life and consciousness like space are a passive an organism endowed with the potence of life moves act and live what does that mean <coughs> life and consciousness life and consciousness because here uh, when we say life it is who it is what that which in us we call life what is that in us that we call life ukuliso what is life unaweza kusema ni nini the life that we have or that which we call life it is god himself that's why mungu alisema akashika matope alafu akafanya nini aka breathe the breath of life and the moment we are born that life ndio inaka until the end of that of that determined life in that individual person Sasawa. So an individual intelligence endowed with the consciousness thinks reason decides remember hopes fear and act that is we have said an individual intelligence ambaye sasa it has, which will be formed because of the experience ambaye utapitia tumesema it is in the center of the sphere of this life of what you are going through na ndio tukasema this individual intelligence one thing it is going to be endowed with consciousness of who you are that is one thing consciousness it is going you will have to think things 
your reasonings, you can design, you can remember, you can hope, you can fear and act. That's why when you come to the scientist, when you come to the scientist, scientists are very good at harmonizing the ma themselves with nature. And because of individual intelligence, they are going to study nature and they are going to come out with, with something. They are going to, they are to come out with, with something. But it doesn't mean necessarily that because they are going to come out with something due to the science, that how that scientist knows God. No. Hamjui mungu. Lakini anajua the God of nature. Na anaelewa because his an intelligence and his, cauch his cautiousness imemfikisha pahali is that intelligence yake inaweza kustudy nature he can be in a sober mind na come out with something na anatengeneza na na form so in our constructive psychology our viewpoint is changed from that of all other methods of study and well ascertained fact group themselves in different order, as we are going to see. So, man is a self-conscious individual intelligence. Iyo, tumajaribu kuyangalia. The physical body or living organism is the agents. Umwiri. Is the vehicle or mechanism through which the individual intelligence contacts the world and act on the physical plane in space and time. Umwili ndiyo wanga una act. Our individual yani intelligence of man, self-conscious man, amepatio umwili. And yu natumia kufanya hali yote anataka to make things move, both for himself and for the other people. Kwa hivyo yeye, amepatio avieko. Umwili nini? Nigari. So, natumiona he can have self cures self adjustment growth development power uh, or in other words experience hiyo tumeona anaweza kuwa na hizo zote ambaye amepatiwa as a gift but many a time yeye when it comes to the, this world anasitumia vizuri sana kama ni kutumia haya this power for his own benefit anaitumia vizuri sana binadamu anajua kuamka asubuhi anaenda kwa shamba anajua kutafuta mahali anajua kutumia this vehicle for his own purpose na hiyo yote anafanya vizuri sana but this laws ambaye anatumia a natural and za kawaida and he, he used them outwardly. But inwardly, when it comes to the inward, we have the struggle for self-adjustment and self-perfection. Kwa hivyo inward, there is a problem. When it comes to the outward, man is very good. Because whether he knows where he's going, he, where he's coming from, or where he is going, whether he know it or not, he is going to work to provide for this body. Atafanya. Hata kana kwamba hajasoma, hata kana kwamba nini yeye anajua ku provide for this body. But when we come to the inward, that's, and when you say the inward part of man, that is what we call the inner man. The hapo ndio shida inakujia. Hapo ndio shida inakujia. Kwa sababu most of the time yeye anakuwa confused. Many are ignorant. He would rather serve this body than serve his soul. Sasa unakuta yeye anakuwa disorganized katika huu mwili that even he himself when it come to mental intelligence where 
he is supposed to work for that higher end unakuta hiyo hafanyi anakuwa stagnant na hana haja na na na, na. He, yani that salvation ambaye watu wanasema na hata kana kwamba atajaribu kutafuta ataitafuta kulingana vile anafikia he won't put the right effort because he won't like to have knowledge lakini anasahau hata hawa watu ambao wana succeed katika hii dunia wanaenda mashule wanaenda college unasikia mtu anaenda kusomea kitu fulani ndio succeed but when you come to salvation people won't think that once you become a member of a church then that's the end of it you don't even want to have a deeper understanding of that which you are after utafanya mambo mengi sana ku pursue your your worldly goals but when it comes to the word of yani to understand the truly that higher nature hiyo very few wanga wanajaribu kutafuta wengi sana hawataki sasawa so as we have said constructive psychology is essentially the individual problem of self development self mastery and self perfection wakati tulikuwa tuna study you can become what you want or what you think tuliona wewe ukiwa binadamu in this world you have all the destiny you have all the power you are endowed with the power to make yourself what you want to be nobody is going to limit you in this world but you are going to limit yourself tunaona hapo that hakuna mtu atalimit wewe there is no limitation for your, your, your self development in this world of god the only limitation ni wewe peke yako and that one we have seen even in our general life ukiangalia vile tunaishi hapa duniani yule mtu ambaye ame through self constructive psychology he has tried to limit himself on some things in order to, uh, to attain certain goal that person wanga na attain na yule ambaye amelegalega unakuta yeye kabisa kabisa yeye kabisa ame limit himself to a certain point ataka stagnant there kwa hivyo nikumaanisha this world when it comes to individual power has no limitation we only limit ourselves now how do we limit ourselves it is to make our yani to have, to make ourselves uh, to limit ourselves with our own understanding counseling na tumeona the most ex- our 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 experience of who we are is going to be based on our experience which is around us this is what is going to make us <coughs> so if we make our sphere to be very narrow you are going to remain narrow in this world hakuna jingine that's why when you come even to the kingdom of god man has limited himself most of the things that man has limited of himself in the kingdom of god is what we call the dogmas the dogmas is what man has put as those things that he need to learn in the church unaweka mafundisho ambayo mtakuwa mnasoma unakuta watu wanasoma mafundisho kutoka januari mpaka januari ile ingine miaka 5 miaka 10 ni kitu kimoja tu wanaendaga kusoma wameweka vikwazo na ndio naona church doctrine mwingine akiingia jaribu kufundisha kitu kingine ukuta wanafanya wana nini wanakataa you limit yourself sasa nyinyi mmejifungia Nimeona wengi sana ambaye hawezi taka kusikia mafundisho yanatoka pale nyingine. Ati wafundishwe wa, wa kitu waelewe wa hapana. Sasa wamejifungia na wamesema wanaenda mbinguni. So hakuna vile Christ anaweza penya. Satan ametengeneza a Satan cocoon. Na sasa tena tunaambiwa hivyo hivyo ndivyo wanga tunajifunga sisi wenyewe. We limit ourselves. So constructive psychology is essentially the individual problem of self development self mastery and self ma- yani self perfection no one will deny that what man does reacts upon himself and so determines 
what he is. I repeat, no one will deny that what man does react upon himself and so determines what he is. Even if you determine what you are. Not your, not your parent, not your father, not your mother. That's how it is you. When Gine at some scholars wanna say not even God himself. Manaka wewe amekupatia all the power and that's why you see you might even see an evil man but wanafanya nini? Anaendelea si ni kweli? Anapanuka. I'm not saying that you should use that power. Huyo ni mtu anaenda extreme on the other side. But you can use that power of God on that good side and then you ex- you excel yourself. Lakini sio kufanya nini? Kujifungia. Watu ndio wanajifungia. Mungu amekupatia na hezi nyaganya wewe. Nani anajinyaganya? Ni wewe mwenyewe. So, a continued adjust as continued adjustments is a basic proportion in human evolution. It is equally true in the whole series of experience experiences constituting human life and individual experience that what a man really is at any given time will determine what he does what he does at that what a man is at a given time will de- determine what he does kwa hivyo wewe man has all chances and there's a saying which says young is gold to be young is gold to be young is gold is gold you are worth gold why because everything depends on you you can become what you want but wengine wanajifungia wanakuwa useless wanakuwa garbage in this world we have seen it wengine wanajifungia for no apparent reason lakini anafunga maisha yake kabisa. Alafu sasa analia sasa yeye ni masikini ati oh sijui watu watuombe. Sasa nataka uombewe na nani? Uombewe sasa gapi? Na hakuna kitu Mungu aje kupatia. Wewe ume, umeshindwa kutumia ile Mungu amekupatia. Sasa unaenda kuambia mapasta. Naye mapasta wanajua sasa wana, ati, ati wana, na hakuna kitu watakusaidia bado. Sasa ukiwa umepatiwa mguu utembee. Uikunje unataka kuikujua utembe unataka uombewe nini na mguu uko naye wewe ndio umefanya nini umeikuja cha sawa experience experience past determine capacity determines capacity present and forecast the possibility future resources of the individual experience zile mtu amepitia zinatakiwa siku guide ndio ufunguke macho uone uone kabisa yes because those experience we are going to promote your reasoning ndio wewe uwe mtu uwe uone all these systems change in atom molecule and mass in cell organ and organism This also happen in all even in cell za zamuri za ambaye siko ndani yetu kila kitu kuna ile kazi inafanya so we realize change growth evolution or degeneracy and yet we realize our self identity this cannot be accidental or faulty to us so usifikirie that hii ni kitu itafanyika by miracle because many believe in miracles if you want to do to, yani to be somebody to grow in this world power in this world nature you are going to grow <coughs> if you realize also for a higher nature you are also going to grow hakuna pali mungu ameweka limit It is us who limit ourselves. Wakati tumesema tunaenda kanisa, tunaweka lisali moja ya ku study the word of God. Alafu unakaa mwaka moja. You don't study. How do you think you are going to grow in grace? Hakuna. Watu wasidanganyane. And that's why hii kanisa siku hizi imefundisha watu kitu tunaita salvation is by grace. 
Is as if inaambia watu wewe salvation is by grace. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha wewe hata whatever you hata ukikaa namna gani basi wewe ume, 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 umepata. Maana yake it is just by faith. Kuamini tu basi. Lakini nimekuja kujua sio vile watu wanafikiria. The word of God is deeper than we think. Sometime hata imefika pale nimeona hata saa zingine kufundisha watu about so, yani salvation is by faith peke yake. Sometimes hata saa zingine unawaweka wawe lazy. Wazijue hata wa, sasa wakae tu kazi yao ni kuombeana. Ati wanaenda mbinguni. No. There are some things that you need to, to work out yourself. There are some things that you need to work out yourself. Do at least you attain that grace. Because grace is also the power. Even the power that not even the power that we have. Is it not grace? It is grace who, because we are given by who? By God. So nimekuja kuona watu wanasema grace as if grace is something ingine. It is something without your power. Now and yet you have that power to work out in order for that grace to do its work. So sio kitu ya kusema salvation by grace, alafu wewe you you put your power dormant the things that god has put in place kukusaidia do at least that your grace ionekane wewe una 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 kaa tu hapana lazima tujue neno la mungu halidanganyani sisi ndio tuna hatusemi hatu, hatu, hatu last time tuliona when we are studying the power of faith tuliona christ alikuwa anaambia watu your faith has made you whole sasa tukaona which, which faith the faith in that person na tukaona faith is a power kwa hivyo Christ kama anakuponya anasema it is the power which is in you which has saved you it is a power which has healed you because the same Christ ambaye tuna walikuwa na muona akiwa nje now nowadays Christ is in us that power tukaona it is in us only We don't use it. Tasawa. We may destroy the body. But we have no evidence that we can obliterate this self identity. Tunaweza ku destroy this body. Lakini what we call self identity, we cannot destroy it. That's why he mwili atakienda kabulini wewe the individual person remains. The individual person there is a difference between individuality and personality. You know people use those two words yani hivi hivi. Individuality it is the true yani true you in Christ Jesus. That is your individuality. But when you come to, to personality it is what you are made you, you make yourself in this outward world. That's your personality. And you nasikia Yaani your personality watu wanakujua wewe ni nani kulingana na your personality it is you when yani how you are you are made by this outward world that is your your personality but your individuality is true self in Christ Jesus that one is the one which we are after in salvation not our personality in this world sasa So all we need to know is that this individual intelligence manifest on the physical plane in space and time through the agents of the human organism. That is that individuality, that true self, we are supposed to manifest it because that one it is the true self ambaye is in Christ Jesus ambaye ndio inatakikana kwa watoto wa Mungu wale wamejua wanafanya nini sasawa so here we have the self conscious individuality intelligence intelligence as the first factor in constructive psychology that is individual intelligence ambaye we find as a matter of fact that this individual intelligence has the power of initiative that individual intelligence dio iko na dio ina control we yani the outward vehicle dio ina control the yani unajua tukija sasa katika unajua hapa tunatumia the the terms ambaye ni psychologically but tukija katika biblical scripture tunasema this individual intelligence dio tunasema the internal man 
Naona na hii personality ndio tunasema it is the old man the outward man huyo ndio tunasema ndio personality manake huyu personality ni yale ni huyo mtu ambaye ume build through the environment ile unapitia but the individual personality it is that inner man who is the mind who is in the mind of god or in christ jesus that inner man na that inner man ndio na control the outward man if only wewe utampatia nafa nafasi kama wewe utampatia nafasi because he is in you and he is the power to take you higher lakini most of the time sisi wenyewe wanga tuna, tuna mzuia because of our personality that's why you don't want to be told the truth your personality in a stand <coughs> now that's why if you attack anybody his personality anakuwa very furious that's the outward man anakuwa very furious because you want to protect that personality why because that personality is is very strong it is what since the childhood kutoka azaliwe that's the personality ambaye am a build in this world kwa hivyo that personality ni nani ni ye ni yeye kwa hivyo usifikirie ame at ni rahisi kupenetrate that personality ni ukuta mtu anajenga unaona sasa na akijenga that ukuta that individuality ambaye ni the true self inakataa ku emanate inakataa kuonekana inaka inakataa in, in kuonekana so what happen yeye ame limit himself and to that true consciousness of god because yeye ana rely na consciousness ya huu mwili but that true consciousness ambaye ni ndio anatakiwa sasa aanze ku experience hiyo sasa anakataa si unasikia unakumbuka that Uh, exact ulinitumia nini nafunga binadamu asijijue ni woga eh ni woga gani usikia ni woga gani uoga yani nini anaogopa eh anaogopa to lose the personality to something that by hafanyi nini hajui ambaye ni that individuality ambaye iko ndani so he fears to lose that personality you see now so he fear himself kwa hivyo nikumbeni ni kusema binadamu ndio anaji limit because hata yeye mwenyewe anaogopa ukiambia ukiambia mtu saa hii you know to be a true christian ni mambo mengi sana unatakiwa kuachana naye unajua ni kulimit kujilimit ya, ya juu sana sasa because somebody does not want to lose that personality. Kuna watu wengine akipelea kwa kiona sasa kabisa atalus anaanza kuogopa. You start fearing. Sasa itakuwaje sasa? Eh? Ni shangaa sana nikaona kumbe sisi ndio tunakataa. We don't want to go yani to go the other side. We want to remain on this side. You don't want to lose this personality. You start fearing. Because you are entering another field that you don't understand so fear inakushi inakushika saa hiyo kiambio saa hii hata saa hiyo kiambio sasa utaenda pale uombe sasa kutoka wakati huo sasa wewe ile jia utabadilishwa na jia nyingine unaweza aza kuogopa let me tell you unaweza kufika hii sasa watoto wako itakuwaje nikifika hapo itakuwaje wewe mwenyewe ndio unaanza kujilimi unaanza kuogopa that's how we are people don't want change hata ukisikia watu wakiambiwa wanaenda heaven. Sasa hii ukiambia mtu sasa nimeambia utaenda kesho. Watasema aje? Sasa wewe unaruka una, unasema atinataka kwenda heaven, we are going to heaven. Mungu yaani uambiwe sasa kesho nimeona uki, ukienda heaven. Utasema aje? Hai, na Mungu hapo ameniharakisha sana. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Age kawia kidogo. Why? Kwa nini na wewe kabisa unaenda kanisa kila siku ndio fanya nini? Uende binguni. Lakini ukiambiwa kesho nimesikia 
ikisemekana wewe unaenda uwezi kubali so that fear ndio ina limit binadamu anataka kufanya ana, yani he has anajua kuna pali kuna kwenu na kabisa ana lakini that exchange dio aingie the other side yeye mwenyewe ndio na limit iko iko uoga mingi sana iko uoga mingi sana people don't want lakini hata ukisikia wanasema they don't want na wale wamesema they want ile jia wanapitia ni kali sana ni shangaa sana kwa sababu ni vitu nyingi sana kwanza kuna watu wanaitwa watu, watu wanaitwa the adept adept ni watu hata and they this world they can live out of their body na wana survive lakini naye hawa watu mambo ya utajiri na mali hapa duniani hiyo kitu wanasahau completely huyu mtu akija kukuponya saa hii atakuja kukuombea ati ujaribu kufikiria ati utampatia pesa uwezi pona the moment you think about money kwa hivyo is a is a is a life ingine ngumu lakini it is true it has happened unajua people have, have never known that Christ our lord yeye hapa duniani ulisikia kuna plot <coughs> eh yeah? ulisikia kuna pali yako na nyumba ati amejenga gorofa so why do we say that Christ is our lord and our master and we are following him do we really follow him eh wale wamejaa kwa kanisa saa hii wanataka mali hata iteremuke mpaka wanasema baraka sa Yesu Kristo ni kutumatia nini mali ya dunia lakini ukistudy your Christ what is the life the esoteric christianity uelewe utashangaa sana Uta, sio vile watu wanafikiria Mm. Sio vile watu wanafikiria. Kwa sababu si unaona yeye anakataa mambo yote ambayo sisi tunaona na macho yetu tunaona ni ya maana. Yeye anakataa. Ni wangapi sahihi wanaweza kataa? Eh? Wangapi sahihi wanaweza kataa? Wale watu wamekataa kama Yesu Kristo ambaye wanaitwa the adept in this world. And you can only get them on the side of Asia. Wanafanya mira kwa kama zile Christ anafanya hata wakati huu. Na sio kitu ati 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 ya uongo it is the truth. Nao wamejinyima. So there is some yani kuna pahali kuna kuna mambo mengi sana ambaye sisi wenyewe we are going to learn as we go by ambaye tutaelewa mambo ambaye hata nyinyi mtashangaa kwa sababu mambo mengine labda mtu afundishwe na asikie ndio aweze kuelewa hii mambo inasema nini 